do whatever it takes to help their autistic child, and some are now turning to a treatment that's new to South Carolina. The sensory learning program in most hail it as remarkable. News Channel 15's Graham Moore has been researching it for weeks, and he joins us now to tell us exactly what you found out, Graham. Jim and Allison, first and foremost, I found out this isn't a cure for autism or other developmental disabilities, but parents who've gone through the treatment, or their kids rather, for the most part, say their children are doing things they weren't doing before. Jonas, help daddy. A couple of months ago, Derek Gedmentis and his wife found out their son Jonas is autistic. Doctors diagnosed his case as mild to moderate. Obviously, the biggest thing is he had a significant speech delay for his age. Jonas is three. He displayed some classical symptoms of autism, things like language delays, hand flapping, walking on his tiptoes, and poor eye contact. At first, Derek passed them off as typical three-year-old yeah, behavior, but soon Jonas's classmates yeah. seemed to be gliding past him, and that alarmed his parents. When we would go to pick him up from preschool, and the rest of the kids would be saying, hi, Jonas's mom, or hi, Jonas's dad, and Jonas just wouldn't say anything. The diagnosis came, and the parental zest to fight for their child kicked in. If they told me that bathing him in tomato paste and laying him down in a pot of garlic would help, I'd do it. So you're going to get up on the table. Derek and his and wife turned to SpeechWorks in Columbia to try a new yeah, treatment okay. called the Sensory okay. Learning Program. The good thing about this program is that it's not requiring a lot of motivation from the child. To see what it's like, I got on the table. That's the first step. Christy Jones, a speech pathologist, demonstrated what goes on. The therapy stimulates sight, sound, and motion and trains the brain to help them work together. <laughs> it's often difficult for children with autism to get all three in sync. Sometimes it's very difficult for them to, to tolerate input sensory-wise from the environment. Sometimes, you know, if they are really engaged on one activity, maybe watching TV or really focusing on something, they may actually turn off or suppress their auditory system. That's where the headphones come in. The music plays like a broken record. That way, children can't easily tune it out. Final piece of the puzzle is directly overhead, a box with a light about the size of a golf ball. Put them all together and the child is moving, listening, and seeing. Because every day in daily life, we use sight, sound, and motion. So they need to be stimulated together so that they can learn to, to work together and coordinate together. For 12 days straight, the patient will do this for about an hour a day. Derek wasn't so sure Jonas would cooperate. Both my wife and I kind of felt, okay, is he going to lay there on this table in the dark and just let this table move and look at the light and have headphones on? And we didn't think he'd do it. But he did and just finished therapy. Derek tells me Jonas is saying words he's never said, seems more engaged and looking at him in the eye now. He seems, too, more aware of his surroundings. We have noticed since then his eye contact significantly better. He's become more verbal. And um, so it's just the little things. Not you know, he's not diamond. reciting Henry V, you know, no great monologues from Shakespeare. But there's certainly been a change for him. Not everyone is so sure about the sensory learning program, though. Critics claim parents see what they want to see, creating a placebo effect. Some parents go in looking for a cure, and that's simply not the case. We try to tell everyone, you know, this is not going to get rid of all your problems. This is not a cure-all, but this is something that hopefully will just, you'll see some great positive changes in your child. Give me a bear hug. And Derek will take whatever progress he can get. If this helps him 10%, then it's worth it. If it helps him 80%, then obviously that's better. But at this point, I take what I can get. And just last week, I got an email that Jonas said mommy for the first time. So some happy news out of the Gedmenis household there. And I want to reiter reiterate, we aren't promoting this particular therapy. It's simply one more treatment that's available to those with autism and other developmental delays. Jim, Allison. Very, very interesting. All right, Graham Moore, thank you very much. Should point out,